High school track coach by day, Hollywood actor by night. I know if you're a Buckeye fan, you know this man, Otis Winston. He plays Winky, one of the Winkies in the upcoming Oz, the great and powerful. And Buckeye fan, you were a track star, a basketball star. So how does an athlete like that go into acting? <laughs> Actually, I always liked writing, and I created my own shows. And then by, you know, divine intervention, I ended up in L.A. and ended up on stage, and the casting directors loved me. And it just started from there. You just have that personality. Um, I probably told that. Yeah, so tell us about this movie. How fun was this? It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, Oz the Great and Powerful Disney has done an amazing job with this film. Sam Raimi has directed something that's going to be, I believe, win a lot of awards. And to have a crew like that, you know, you got James Franco, Mila Kunis, Rachel Weisz, Michelle Williams, Bill Cobbs. It was a star-studded cast, and everybody was amazing. Everybody was fun. And to get the part as a regular extra, right. you know, making $100 a day, um, spending more money to go up there than I was making to be on set, but I took a, a chance. And... It paid off big time because within a month of the show, not only was I a Winky, I was actually leading all the Winkies in the fight scenes, the marching scenes, and I actually helped choreograph um, and direct a few of the scenes. And you have a couple speaking yes, roles yes, in this, too. Yes. Because the funny thing, we were talking before we went on the air, and you kind of related your role as Winky yeah. to your role as an Ohio State basketball player. So yes. tell everyone why that kind of related for you. Well, the way it related is because I was actually the short one of the group. And you're 6'6". Six, six. I'm 6'6". Six, six. Okay. Um, is this a, you? That, 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 is, that is me. That is <laughs> okay, so go makeup, ahead. You're the makeup. short one of the group. I'm the short one of the group. And as you can see, with my arms crossed, and that's me holding one of the um, munchkins in my <laughs> arms. Um, she wanted to hang and dangle, but it was a bunch of former basketball players. And we had a thing called a Friday. What a Friday was is we would get on set at 6.30 in the morning on a Friday, and we wouldn't get off the set till 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday. So when we got close to 5.30, the guys were cashing out mentally. And I would literally say, look, it's like fourth quarter. We're in a crunch time. we got to burrow down, and we got to get this movie finished. And that's what I believe really started to get the attention of the directors, especially one in particular by the name of Casey Hoddenfield, who's done Transformers, The Blind Side, oh, wow. Prince of Narnia. He's done all those films, and that allowed us to have a relationship, and now, you know, it's moving to hopefully my next project. Yeah, and now look at you, you're just going to keep moving right up the ladder there. How do you find time to coach track at New Albany? Um, I find time because my two beautiful kids are here. You know, That's I all have, you have to say right I have, there. I have two beautiful kids, Promise Star Winston and Rain DeWan Winston. They're in my life, and um, I come home because of them. Um, they're the reason I do what I do. Um, they, they, they mean everything to me. They're, they're the world to me. Otis, it was an honor to meet you. Best of luck. I guess I should say break a leg, right? That's break what you're supposed to say in the break biz. Break two legs. It break two oh, <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to break two legs, but best of luck. Break two legs in absolutely everything you do. Cannot wait to see the movie. The awe is great and powerful. Can't wait to hear your lines and everything. Let us know what you do after this, too. I will. Okay? We'll I will. keep in contact. Dave, I want your autograph after this. Dave? <laughs>